intermittent fasting. People like Brian Johnson and David Sinclair insist that this is another key to being healthy and living longer. No, trust me, that the, the data is very clear that this is the way to go if you want to be healthy in your 80s and 90s. Now, it is difficult to say the data is clear because we still don't have the details on exactly how humans should fast. Charles Darwin's old variation of species idea would suggest that different people of different ages in different geographical regions with different genetics and different diets might need their own personalized set of fasting specifics. But one study this year published in Nature examined how different levels of caloric restriction and intermittent fasting affected the health and lifespan of genetically diverse female mice. So researchers found that both caloric restriction and intermittent fasting extended lifespan in proportion to the degree of restriction, with 40% caloric restriction having the strongest effect. However, they also observed that while these dietary interventions increased lifespan, they did not necessarily improve health. So some interventions led to loss of lean mass and changes in the immune system that could increase susceptibility to infections. I'm wondering if the mice were getting their 30 plants per week, but I don't know. I wasn't involved in the study. 